So 2015 was a great year for games. A ton of them came out, a bunch of good ones, and I definitely want to make a video about that soon. But today's video is about 2016, and the top 10 games I'm hyped for for it. Now before I begin, I just want to say that, first of all, I want to say that none of this is scripted. All that I have scripted, or written down, is just the top 10 games in order, and the dates that they're coming out. And yeah, that's basically it. And the other thing I want to say is that, some games have already came out, like um, Pocket Mortys, which is a Rick and Morty game on the App Store. I'm playing that right now, it's pretty fun. And that released, like, this year, and they also announced it this year, so it's kind of weird. And also, I just want to give a shout out to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, because I want to pick that up soon, after I beat all the other Mario and Luigi games. But it came out last month in January, so I know I'm kind of late on this, but yeah. Here are my top 10 hype, the top 10 games that I'm hyped for in 2016. Now, let's begin. Number 10, Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now, this game is on the 3DS, and it's already released on PS4 and Xbox One, I believe. It's set to come out in February 23rd, and I've never really played any Me Mega Man games before, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, I definitely want to try it out. It's the first six Mega Man games, so it's a really great deal. It's for $50 if you get it with the bundle with the gold Mega Man amiibo, which looks really cool. I'm not sure if it does anything in-game, but you know, it's a cool little statue to have that you can hang up someplace. So, yeah, that's number 10. Now, moving on. Number 9, Twilight Princess HD. This game, Twilight Princess came out, um, like, about, I'm not sure how long ago, I think like in 2005 or 2006. It came out originally on the GameCube, and then they ported it to the Wii, and now it's re-releasing on the Wii U. And, man, it just looks beautiful, and I can't wait to pick it up, I still need to pre-order it. And if you do pre-order it, you get uh, the bundle with the Wolf Link Amiibo, so it's kind of similar to the Mega Man thing. And you also get the digital soundtrack, so I'm really interested in this. It's on the Wii U, of course, because HD. Um, but yeah, Twilight Princess just looks amazing. I never played it originally, so I can't wait to play it on the Wii U. And also there's some new features, like with the Wolf Link Amiibo. If you scan it onto the gamepad, then you get a new dungeon called, um, I forgot what it's called, like Cave of Shadows or something. Or Palace of Shadows, something like that. And also there's some new modes like Hero Mode, where it's um, harder. It's like the Hero Mode from Wind Waker HD, where you take um, twice as much damage and you get half hearts. So yeah, there's that. And then also the other amiibos like Link, Zelda, Sheik, and Ganondorf from Toon Link. They do different things like replenish your hearts or arrows, and you can use them like once a day. And also for Twilight Princess HD, if you keep the data on your Wii U then, and you get um, Zelda Wii U, then it'll transfer the data over and something will happen like, I don't know, it has some special connection with that other game. So yeah. Coming in at number 8 is Kingdom Hearts 2.8 uh, for the PS4. Now, I don't own a PS4 myself, but I'm sure I could find a way to like borrow somebody to play to somebody's house or something. But Kingdom Hearts 2.8, if you guys don't know, I'm a really big Kingdom Hearts fan. Um, this game, it's a collection series of, first of all, Dream Drop Distance, which originally came out on the 3DS, so it's that in HD. And then Kingdom Hearts, um, what's it called, Back Cover, which is like cutscenes of Kingdom Hearts Key. So, you know, that's that. And then a whole new game called Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0.2. And it's Aqua Story before Kingdom Hearts 3, so it's like the prequel. Because the entire game altogether is called Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. So it's like the prologue to the final chapter, if you get it. <clears throat> and then, clocking in at number 7 is Pokemon Go. And basically what this is, a lot of people are excited about it. There was a Super Bowl commercial about it and everything. Um, Pokemon Go is an app on the iPhone. And I'm not sure if it'll be free or not, but it's about how you go out into the real world and you get to catch real Pokemon. By like, you know, throwing the Pokeball and then you can battle with other people too. From what they've shown, it looks really great and I can't wait to play it. And like, my friends are going to get it too, so we'll get to battle each other and trade and all that stuff. Um, it'll probably be one of those freemium games, but still, like, it's a huge step for Pokemon. They tried doing it like two years ago with Google Maps, but it was an April Fool's joke. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll turn out great. So, yeah, I'm um, really excited about that game. Number 6 is Hyrule Warriors Legends. Now, this game is set to come out in 
March 25th, so probably during spring break or something like that. I never played the original Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. Um, well, I've played it like at GameStop and demos and things like that, but I never actually owned it. And the reason is because I was never really interested in it. I don't know why, but now this 3DS version, I'm actually kind of interested because, first of all, it has new characters, new modes and everything. It just looks a whole lot more appealing. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think I might pick that up, actually. They've got a bunch of new characters like Toon Link, Tetra, um, who else? They've got Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. They've got the King of Red Lions from Wind Waker. And also, it has all the DLC for free in the from Hyrule Warriors Wii U. So, it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun game. And, yeah, again, it comes out March 25th. And also, you can transfer your data from Hyrule Warriors Legends to the Wii U version to get the exclusive characters on the 3DS one into the Wii U version. So, like, you can play as Tetra now and Toon Link and all that. So, yeah, it should... It should be pretty fun. Number five is Fire Emblem Fates, which comes out on February 19th, which is this Friday actually, in a few days. Um, so anyway, this game, there's two versions of it, Birthright and what's the other one? Birthright and Conquest. They say that Birthright is more for beginners and people who haven't played Fire Emblem or aren't used to it. I haven't really played it at all. I've played like the first game, like the first level or something. And, you know, it's pretty fun, but I've heard that Fire Emblem Awakening is really good, so this game looks really interesting. Um, the main protagonist that you play is this Corrin. He's also DLC for Super Smash Bros, by the way, and he looks really cool. Turns into a dragon and everything. The story seems really interesting because it splits into, like, it branch pathways, you know? And if you, <clears throat> if you purchase one of them, like Birthright, then you get um, Conquest for half off and vice versa. And you can also get another one that you're supposed to play last called Fire Emblem Revelation, or Revelation, something like that. And it's like a c continuation on the story, depending on which one you choose, but... Yeah, it sounds kind of confusing, but I can't wait to play it. I may pick that up. So yeah, that's number five. Number four on this list is Star Fox Zero. And this is supposed to come out in April 21st. Um, they originally intended this game to come out last winter. So like a few months ago in December, November, something like that, but they delayed it for some weird reason. Now this game is uh, gonna come out on the Wii U, and it looks really interesting because it kind of looks like a better version of Star Fox 64. And but the thing they said about this game that's that's really interesting is it's called Star Fox Zero because it's not like a sequel or a prequel to anything. It's just like its own game, like kind of spiritual successor, if you know what I mean. And you play as um, you play as Fox for the most part, but Falco, Slippy Peppy, they're all there, and Pigma, um, what's the other guy's name? Wolf, and then Andros, like the, the entire crowd is there. But I'm hoping they haven't announced multiplayer or local or online multiplayer, but I'm hoping that it'll be there, because Star Fox 64 had really great multiplayer, and if they could do online with this, that would be great. And the graphics look really amazing too, so. I can't wait to pick this up, uh, this game up later this year. So next on our list is number three, The Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. So the thing that's really cool about this game is how unknown it is. Again, it was delayed, it's supposed to come out last year in 2015, also, but they delayed it, and that's appear. actually a really good thing because that means that they're really working hard and they're saying like, hey, like let us take our time, we can probably find out and do a lot of good things for this game. <clears throat> So it's really exciting, and I think, um, don't quote me on this, but I believe they said they want this to be the best Zelda game ever. And Ocarina of Time, people rate that to be the best game of all time. So just imagine how good this game could be. It's like Skyrim type, um, overworld, and then like great HD graphics and everything. It just looks really cool, so <clears throat> hopefully it'll come out this year. Everything looks great about it. The Opona riding, you, there's new features like shooting arrows while you're on Opona, picking apples and everything, and then she can control where the trees go. And then you've got that new arrow thing. Link has a new redesign and model, so it just looks really cool all in all. Number two is Pokken Tournament. Now, this game was teased a long time ago, like probably two, three years ago maybe? Or two and a half or something like that. And originally it was just supposed to come out in arcades, but then they announced that it would be coming to Wii U. 
and it's supposed to come out in March. It looks really cool. Um, it's a fighting game. It's a cross between Tekken and Pokemon, so it's supposed to be really interesting. It's um, you can go up to two people in uh, not co-op uh, fighting. So kind of like Super Smash Bros, but it's like not 2D, it's 3D, like in a circle or like battleground arena. And lots of cool Pokemon are there, like Suicune and Mewtwo. Chandelure just got announced. Um, who else is there? Braxian and Pikachu and Shadow Mewtwo. There's a bunch of Pokemon. You can look up the list. Um, personally, I know it's kind of uh, cliche and generic, but I actually kind of want to main Pikachu because he looks pretty good and cool. There's a bunch of Pokemon, Gardevoir, um, yeah, there's a bunch of them, and then, of course, there's the assist Pokemons also, which look pretty cool and interesting. So yeah, Pokemon Tournament, coming out in March. And number one on this list is Ukulele for the Wii U. So this game was announced on Kickstarter, um, last year in, like, March or something, and <clears throat> it's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. The team that um, developed that game and Donkey Kong Country, Conker's Bed for a Day, all those um, Rareware, they kind of split up and they went to Microsoft. And now all the ex Rareware members made their own team called Platonic Games and they're developing this new game called Ukulele. It looks just like Banjo Kazooie, like new version, new characters, it looks amazing. And they opened up their Kickstarter last May and they exceeded their goal within 42 minutes. Um, at least something like that. So it definitely looks amazing, and something that's so cool about this game is that it's actually a 3D platformer, and we haven't had a real collectathon of 3D platformer like that in years. Like, the last one I can remember getting close to that is Super Mario Galaxy. So I'm definitely really excited about this. The game is coming out this October, and for sure I'm gonna pick that game up because I'm super excited about it. So yeah, that's my list on the top 10, my top 10 most hyped games for 2016. Let me know which ones you guys are excited for, because I'm definitely excited for a lot of these. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.